What's going on you guys? Cursed Objects here, back at it again with another video. This time on the art channel. Hello art channel, how are you? Um, and in today's video, as you can see by the title, we are doing something that I have decided to torture myself with. And that is draw every single worry cat in existence from the famous warrior series and um, shout out to wiki fandom for this because without them I would not be able to do this because I do not have the time nor the money to go through every single freaking book that is in this series oh boy there's a lot okay there is a lot I'm talking from novellas side books Super editions, main series, it, oh god, there's a lot. So, but yeah. And as you can see by the title as well, I've dubbed it you. <laughs> because that's how I'm gonna feel at the end of this, is you. Um, <laughs> which stands for Every Warrior Cat's Wednesdays, because every Wednesdays, we're gonna do this. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna make 25 minute videos of this every single Wednesday. But if you guys want to see four, four of the, you know, thousands every, every week, then, I mean, it can be done. It can be arranged, you know. So, <laughs> if you guys enjoy it, don't be, don't forget to, you know, like, subscribe to the art channel. Alrighty. Let's get into this. Okay, I'm done. Alrighty, so our first order of business, our first two cats, is Acorn Fur and Acorn Paw here. Um, Acorn Fur, we're going to start with her, and she is an ancient medicine cat. Technically, she is one of the first um, apprentice medicine cats, um, which is pretty cool. I mean, she had her full warrior name before, you know, all this happened. Um, and this takes, this dates back to Mothlight's vision. So, she old, but we love her, you know, we stand the jealousy that Mothlight had over her, uh, <laughs> thinking she was, thinking Acorn Fur was gonna steal her mans, but, <laughs> um, anyways, so, basically, her description on the wiki is that she's like a chestnut brown um, almost a reddish color with amber eyes and such and I'll make sure to put on screen now a picture of what the wiki says about her so um, basically what I did is I went in with a base color for her um, and then I'm blocking in that dark chestnut color um, and as you can see I'm taking the hard route and then I finally upgrade to a bigger brush <laughs> And I also did something with her that I don't normally do with cat designs. Um, I gave her a mask, as you can see here. Gave her a mask design, and then I later, you know, drew that out a little bit. Um, and I thought I, I was, you know, struggling a little bit with her design because I didn't want it to be too simplistic, but also, you know, not over the top like like one of them that we're gonna see a little bit down the line here um and i gave her some knee-high socks yeah but i ended up falling in love with her design i love how i designed her i don't know what it is but i feel like i did a fantastic job with her <laughs> so um something i don't know really do either is what you see here the brighter eyebrow color um i don't normally do that but i'm glad i did because differentiates <laughs> from the face so
And now I'm just coming in and filling in her fleshy bits. That sounds gross. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, they were a little too pink, so I'm pretty sure I dulled them down um, post-production. But um, I haven't looked at the picture since I started editing this video, so oops. And I'm filling in her eye color. And now moving on to her little medicine cat marking thing. I've seen uh, another YouTuber called Ginger Ninja. She does this a lot where she gives them like a little like piece of like, you know, their namesake or whatever to represent their medicine cat to kind of separate them. Um, and I kind of took that idea. So credits to her. And then we're giving her a little, you know, extra pizzazz to let you know she's a medicine cat for sure. With, you know, some juniper here on, on a leaf of some kind. Don't know what species, but... Now we're moving on to little acorn paw here. And at first I kind of struggled with him because, as you'll see in a minute, I gave him a little nose detail. And it made me, like right there, it made me think of Apple Dusk. And I was like, oh no, this character is going to look like Apple Dusk. Because this color palette kind of reminds me of all the ones I've seen for him. It's kind of a dusty tan brown. So, and then I started implementing the geometric state shapes in him. And he started to slowly not look like Apple Dusk. Which I'm really happy about his design. Um, I'm really happy what I came up with. So, in the end, it worked out. Even though we kind of use similar, similar colors to what everybody else designs as Apple Dusk, I'm happy with it. Um, and because of his face mask parts, I was going for more of this geometric patterning, and you'll see that here as I'm pushing the dark and lights back and forth. And then here I am doing little, like, belly patches where his fur kind of, like, blends in with the, with the belly color. And I, I guess I am just a sucker for this because <laughs> this is, like, a staple in the rest of the designs almost. And then here I am giving him his little pink areas and I'm finishing out like ear colors and giving him a little finishing details. And then I move on to his eye color, which is teal. Nice little teal. It complements the brown very much and I'm really happy with it. And now here we are on to the next pair. This next pair is um, Acorn Tail and Adder Fang. Grandfather Tiger Star here. <laughs> this is the one we're working on right now, Adder Fang. Um, he's described as, you know, pretty much just like Tiger Star. You know, he's stocky, he's big fluff ball, you know. Um, but instead of them describing him as a tabby, he's described as modeled, which is pretty significantly different. And when I looked it up on Google, because I wasn't too sure what they meant by that, um, I kept seeing a bunch of, like, blobby tabbies. So I'm assuming that's what they meant, because that's kind of what his picture looks like on the wiki as well. So 
I kind of took a little creative liberty with that and made it more of a blob tabby than kind of modeled because Google's description of modeled is a calico. So, and the wiki doesn't look like a calico. So, I just decided to make him a blobby tabby. So, <laughs> And now I'm just giving him his big neck fluffs and making him all kinds of fluffy. Making him all kinds of fluffy. And you could probably notice, but my style in this drawing has kind of changed a bit. I wanted these to be more cartoonish in a way. Um, not really much detail put into them. Um, and that, that was just a stylistic choice. And because it's just, like, faster for me. Like, I have never got a leg that good on, like, the first pass around. So I was really surprised. But it really helped. And, you know, it was good. It was, it was cool practice. And here I was just marking, I guess, that I wanted to move the legs up more. That I was going to move them up because they look a little long. They look a little too long for his body. So... And I really fought with these two characters. I really had trouble getting them right. Like you can see the legs don't match. And it was really hard to get them to match for some reason. I don't know because, you know, these were filmed probably, I think these were the next day. This set here was the next day. So I guess my mojo ran out or so. So... <laughs> Um, I honestly am probably going to refine Adderfang's design at some point um, after this series because, I don't know, I don't like that one flyaway fluff ball there. <laughs> so now we are moving on to Acorn Tail, and Acorn Tail did not have a little picture at all, so... I just, this is probably the point where I just said, to hell with the description. I'm not going to match that at all. I'm going to do what I want to do. So I didn't even look at his description. So I don't know if it's right. Um, but I'm pretty sure it just said something about him being a Tom. So, and oh boy, I struggled with his face. As you can see, like I'm going back and forth constantly with how he looks. He was a very difficult character to get for some reason and I think it's just that I needed to like go away from my computer for a second but I eventually got it and I really like his side tufts because I wanted him to be a short hair instead this time I don't know when I think acorn I think of a short hair cat I guess I don't know I don't know why <laughs> so then I'm giving him little tufts on his ears, which I probably should have gave Adderfang. I don't know. Tiger Star's lineage just like strikes me as having those tufts on there. So, and then here I am blocking out some harsh shadows under, because again I wanted that very cartoony look. So that's what I'm doing here, making sure they look right. And I struggled with his. Again, like, Acorn Tail was really hard for me to get right for some reason. I don't know why. He was just difficult, so. <laughs> I liked his legs, though. Like drawing his legs. Some of you might be wondering why I decided to do the whole Every Warrior's Challenge thing and um, honestly 
this was the only book I could get into as a kid. So I really just wanted to revisit my childhood a little bit and get back into the books because I still have some of the books that I bought a bit ago. I mean, now they're reprints. So I bought them maybe a year or two ago, um, especially during quarantine, because I wanted some reading material. And for some reason, Warriors was just something that I could always digest and, you know, get behind, even if there were huge inconsistencies around it. <laughs> I don't know. It was just always one of my favorite series, and um, I kind of want to make my own like fan OC series out of it. Um, I think it would be really fun to play with those ideas. And here you can see me giving <laughs> Acorn Tail a, <laughs> a Squidward-esque jawline there. And then I'm just laying in the pre-base color so that I can make sure that everything's filled in cor correctly. There's no like gaps and there's no like weird funky areas where there's just green. And for acorn tail, you'll see me kind of start with this pinky reddish color, but it will change to a more tan brown. Um, I just really did not like this color at the end of his design, so I, I changed it. <laughs> and then I'm going to give him a bigger little squiggle patch instead of that small like rounded one. Um, I would like to use that kind of um, American short hair swirly pattern, big thick swirly pattern like that again though sometime. And here's where I also decided that since I made Acorn Paw a very geometric character, I wanted acorn tail to be very like circular have a very circular geometric kind of scheme going on so he's got a lot of like round edges and nothing's really too sharp um on his tail i have always pictured acorn tail like ever since i looked through the full list of characters i've always pictured him with a striped tail with a striped tabby tail and here I am going with another color just to give him some tabby markings. And I kind of fought with these tabby markings a little bit, like back and forth, because I didn't know how I was going to make them look right. But in the end, I kind of like how this looked. And right here I'm going to fight with the spots a little bit. Um, in hindsight, I really wish I would have kept that little small spot that was attached to the full like back pattern piece here, but I did not, so... <laughs> Here I'm just throwing a couple extra stripes in to give him some dimension a little bit or a little more like variety and more spots, which I ended up kind of hating, but it's okay. 
And then I'm also gonna go in with chest fur and the lighter parts of him. Now this part of his design I actually love. The little chest piece and the little toes having different colors. And, ah, I loved it. I love doing this. And then I was just going through colors that I thought would look good. Um, I did like that lime green at first, and then I chose this kind of teal color. Um, I don't know what it is about teal and brown, but it just looks really good together. And here I put down a way too bright pink <laughs> for his color scheme. Which obviously will change later. Yep, there it is. There's the change. but I did decide to give his nose that bright pink color still. Now, moving on to a granddaddy tiger star. <laughs> we, um, I did his design a little too brown. Um, at first you can see like, that's kind of the brown that I was like, okay, we'll start with this at least, and we'll go from there, and then here comes the the modeled pattern that I'm talking about, where it's more of blobby tabby stripes, and I almost make his entire back end like that dark, dark chocolate color that you see. And he was very hard to like like envision on what I wanted to do with him but it was actually really fun because I got to go do those big old blobby tabby stripes so it was fun doing that and then I'm going in with a lighter brown masking out his Cabbiness. Um, I definitely kind of re like reverse engineered how I wanted Tiger Star to look onto him. So you'll probably see a lot of similarities between this character and the Tiger Star character. Then I'm doing a really interesting design here. Um, I'm putting his like cream, more like a muted cream color down his like ankle foot part as well. And I don't see this a lot in warrior cat creations or just cat designs in general. And I think it's a kind of overlooked design. I really like it. I really like how it looks and I think people should use it more. Now, zooming in on his face, I didn't want to make his neck tough completely, that like beigey khaki color that you see, but I did want to include it in there. giving him a little more stripes here and there, giving a little more of a tabby right in that one corner. 
overlapping some and at this point I'm thinking that this guy is just a little too brown for my liking. I want him to resemble Tiger Star in some way because they are related but I don't want him to look like a carbon copy like his sons are written as. So I ended up changing his like colors in you know, hue and saturation and like luminosity and all that. And you'll see in a second that I made him more of a, like a very mute mute or very like a dark brown instead. And you see me playing with it right here, like a more gray, dark brown like that. Um, and I actually made his eyes orange when they were actually supposed to be yellow. So... Oops. <laughs>